Hey everybody, it's Parker. Um, wow, I'm so sorry I have not been making videos. Uh, a lot has happened in the last little while. Um, relocation, travel, craziness. Um, yeah, but anyways, so I'm gonna go ahead and make this video to, um, and I'm apologizing, I don't have a selfie stick so I have to sort of hold my camera like, like this right now. Um, Basically, this video is to show you what I am doing with my recording studio. Um, most of my previous videos were recorded in my previous recording studio, which was in my previous house, which I am no longer in. I'm going to just give you guys a little bit of a preview of um, what I'm doing um, with my new studio. It's going to be a totally full-service studio with lounge area. Uh, isolated um, vocal and drum booths um, it's gonna be good but right now it's a work in progress I have one functioning room and two rooms that are waiting to be functioning so I'm gonna take you to the first room here is the first room this is the uh, this is the main area so this will be kind of control room one um, Basically, it's a bit of a mess, but basically, basically here we have in-house amps, really awesome amps. We have an AC15, um, an Albion, uh, amazing Albion head with an orange cab, a trainer, a uh, 15 watt tube. All my amps are tube amps, except for my bass, my bass amp there. Um, and then we have the uh, the monitors and the computer, obviously, and the main uh, interface, which is an Apogee Quartet. Uh, I will be upgrading, I think, to the Ensemble if I can. If not, I'll get um, something with roughly 8 to 16 inputs um, for various usage with... Uh, you know, multiple microphones and instruments and such. So an entire band can come in here and record and not worry about um, having to do it one track at a time. Rather, you know, they'll be able to record right off the floor and that's kind of the point. A wide variety of guitars you can choose from to record in the studio. I've, uh, you guys probably know, I've been collecting instruments for most of my life. Um, so this is, this is my arsenal. I'm going to be doing a lot of uh, instrument reviews, um, pitting some instruments up against other instruments and, uh, and such and such. Uh, from this main room, it's going to be painted a different color because I can't stand white uh, walls. It's, it's got to be something else. So maybe if you have an idea of what color or colors I should choose, um, let me know. But yeah, so there's a lot going on. Um, a lot of interesting pedals. Oh, say hi to the dog. Hello. Oh, there's Faith. <laughs> um, so yeah, amp section. Um, there's, uh, you know, maybe 30, 40 pedals um, that one can use in this particular studio to uh, get the, the exact tone that you want. And of course, you can bring in your own uh, amplifier. Um, but yeah, so this is main main room. This is control room one. Uh, over here, I've started a project. It was a closet, and it is now a fully functioning uh, vocal booth. It's not totally finished yet, but it's promising. Um, it's very promising, actually. I didn't have that at the last studio. It was just kind of an open floor idea. And I, was, I wasn't really able to, um, to isolate sound. So it's going to be really nice to be able to isolate sound and give a person options as far as what they want to do with their vocals or their um, acoustic guitar or whatever they're playing. I'm just going to quickly pan around the room. Sorry, my voice is a little cracky. It's, uh, I've been talking a lot.
So yeah, that's control room one. So basically you could fit in this room right now um, a couple musicians and record them simultaneously um, just in this one room as well as a vocalist if you wanted to uh, kind of put everybody together um, like that. But but that's, yeah, that's room one. So I'll take you to the basement where room two and three are gonna be. And this is where the, uh, the drums and the second isolation room is gonna be situated. So, oh, you see right here, I've got a whole bunch of stuff that I'm gonna be using to soundproof everything that I'm doing. So I will take you to the basement. I'm a little out of breath. I've done quite a bit of physical activity today, so I apologize for that. So right now the piano is kind of just sitting in the main room of the basement. Um, it's not, we don't know where it's gonna go yet, so it's just kinda gonna hang out there for a bit. Uh, I've cleaned out this room, which is um, isolation, vocal isolation booth two. So basically what's happening in here is it's, it's very dead. The, the, there's very little noise in here whatsoever, uh, which is great because there are airplanes in the area. Um, it's not, it's not too bad though once you get everything, you know, soundproofed. But yeah, this is, this is going to be like the, the dead room. So the walls will be completely padded. Uh, I can hear an airplane right now, but barely. If I close this door, it goes away. So I got a, a carpet here. Um, I think what's going to go here is a, a wall booth. So what I'm going to end up doing is I'm not, either with plywood, I'm going to build a completely sep you know, separate space where this carpet is situated. Um, it's going to go all the way along the sides of the carpet and it will have uh, a door obviously. And, and you can get in there and get your acoustic and, or put your drum kit in there and, and record without any outside noise whatsoever so that'll be nice um like i said i didn't have that in the other studio in the other place it was just one uh <clears throat> one badly uh soundproofed room and then there's a lot of stuff in this other room but this is going to be sort of a lounge um slash second control room area where um we're probably going to do a little bit of maybe some bass uh, some mixing. I'll have a separate console down here, a separate interface, uh, another desk, and um, I will do something with the flooring. But this is this is room three. So it's. Uh, I decided not to use this room as a vocal uh, chamber whatsoever because there's a vent, and I know it's funny. It, I didn't put that there, it was there when I moved in. But there's a vent and it's made of metal and you can hear the sound bouncing off that vent and there's no door. So this will have to be um, less of an isolation room and more of a control center. Um, but it's, it's, it's really, it's a good space, it's a big space. If I step in the very corner of the room and I show you the size of it, you know, there's a lot of potential here. So this will be the last room that we complete. Uh, it's kind of the least important, but it will be nice to have either way. So, so yeah, we've got that. And again, going back to isolation room two, um, it's just, it's a perfect dead room. So with the, with the ceiling, I'm not too sure what I'm going to do about it. Um, so, you know, if you guys have any ideas, for um for totally deadening a room i would love to hear them as also um as far as building an isolated vocal booth aside from the one upstairs which was a closet 
uh, a big closet, thank goodness. Um, let me know if you, if you do have any ideas. Um, so that's basically it. I will take you back upstairs to control center one. And again, it's really nice to have all the, all the space to work with because I just felt very limited where I was before. So, and I'm not trying to make you dizzy. So again, this is control room one. So yeah, all of, most of the mixing will probably end up being done here, this console, um, at this, this area because I'm used to these monitors and the monitors I end up getting for the basement are probably gonna be uh, a little bit smaller and maybe kind of on the fly mixing sort of. And this will be where everything gets mixed with a, with a sub, subwoofer somewhere underneath there uh, and, and mastered in, in this room here. So anyways, there's a lot going on and um, I'm excited to, uh, to finish it up right now. It is functional. So if you do wanna come and record something, we already had um, one person come in and uh, record piano and vocals and it sounded great. So it's, uh, it's uh, totally up and running at the moment, but it won't be full service until, you know, rooms two and three are also um, ready to go. So anyways, have another look at this. And this was a closet. You can really, I mean, I, I don't want to close the door because you're not going to be able to see me, but it's, it's, it's a huge, it's a huge room. So I wouldn't say you could fit two people in here, but if you needed to do something very precise, um, cause the microphone is very sensitive. It's a Neumann TLM one of three. Uh, this is the perfect space to do that. So, um, yeah, full service, uh, recording studio. And uh, the prices are not going to go up, so that's a that's a plus. Anyways, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave you alone for now. I'm gonna come back with a few more videos, maybe something where I'm a little less tired, and I can have a better conversation with you guys. Maybe update a little bit more on what what else has been going on uh, in my life. But yeah, thank you for watching. Um, if you have any ideas for colors for the studio? For colors for the basement um let me know and you know soundproofing ideas I, I could really use some of your knowledge so have a good one